you're signed to a label, 300, that most people recognize them from artists from Atlanta. Right. You know, we got Meg from Texas. Uh, are, are you, you're one of the first, like, West Coast artists popping out of there, huh? Yeah. Does that sure. feel, does that, you feel any sense of, like, responsibility? Like, I got to hold it down out here for everybody? Uh, most definitely. I am. I can now I know I got to, I'll be having to step shit up because I know a lot of people be watching. Me. Woo! All right, everybody. It's your boy, My Wand, here at Dash Radio on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today, we got Long Beach in the house. How you doing, bro? Man, what's going on, dog? Man, I'm doing good. We got my crazy row out, out the city. Uh, you know, you're, you... So I got to start this. I asked anybody from Long Beach this question. Is Long Beach L.A.? Hell no. Nah. No, you said hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. What do you mean, though? It's nah. like, kind of like L.A. It's crazy you just said that, though. I just came from the studio, and I just told uh, one of my partners that was up in there, like, this shit, like, a whole, Long Beach, a whole different world. Like, you get what I'm saying? It is, it is. Yeah, it really a whole is. different world. So but just, you... But you don't feel like you don't consider Long Beach, L.A.? I, no, I wouldn't. But to an outsider, like a, a, you know, a tourist, for sure. Okay. Guaranteed, yeah, because I don't, don't want to get too technical. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I used to live out there, and I remember Joey Fats was telling mm-hmm. me, Joey was like, Long Beach is not yeah. L.A. He said it's two different things, and he said people from L.A. didn't really embrace people from Long Beach. Yeah, man, Joey my boy, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a good dude For right sure. there. Yeah. Good dude. Shout out Cutthroat. He one of the niggas that supported me coming up too. I'm gang. Oh, really? For sure. Yeah, That's yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, there's a renaissance in LA right now. There's a lot of like rap singers. Yeah. But all of you are really dope and sound different. So we got yourself, we got Blast, we got Bino, we got Wally the Sensei, yeah. Asia. All of you uh, guys sound different, but you all have that West Coast flavor. Something out here in the water right now, huh? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, not nah. <laughs> we got that we got that wavy shit. It's just you know that shit be in the air, gang. Okay? We all pick up off of each other, fly shit. Yeah, know? and it really seems like the LA scene is finally it is supporting each other. Yeah, which is super dope. I seen you and Asia got a track in. Yeah, that's my home girl for sure. Everyone's Shout out like Asia. Everyone's supporting each other. She's working with Blue Bucks. Blue Bucks yeah. working with you know and then. Just everyone supporting each other. Uh, what what artists from out here in the West did you grow up with, or anyone you grew up knowing? Uh, it's money. Okay. That's one of my brothers on gang. I don't know if you heard his music yet, but he got a little following the buzz on gang. That's like my brother for real, for real. We grew up together. Uh, that's pretty much it. I ain't got too many artists that's out right now that I, you know. Okay. Okay, well, I want to give you a gift from my CD collection. Being that you're from the city. Oh, I shit, you got a present for me? I had to give you that, <laughs> that <Yeah>. Snoop. <laughs> you oh, yeah, rock dude, with right that? there. Hell yeah, okay. I just have to recite these lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Last night for some content, a content shoot. It's crazy. You guys went nah, to I the same high school, stuff, right? For sure, yep. Polly? Yeah. Have you have you had any uh, interactions yet with? Uh, not Uncle? yet, not yet, but not yet. Yeah, soon to come. Mm-hmm. Well, I think what's really unique about your journey is you're signed to a label, 300, that most people recognize them from artists from Atlanta. Right. You know, we got Meg from Texas. Uh, are are you? You're one of the first like West Coast artists popping out of there, huh? Yeah. Does sure. that feel? Does that you feel any sense of like responsibility? Like, I got to hold it down out here for everybody? Uh, most definitely. I am. I can now I know I got to, I'll be having to step shit up because I know a lot of people be watching me. Mm-hmm. And I've I seen, I seen a lot of people take after me with their music and stuff. So it's a lot of, you know, teaching to do. Absolutely. Now, when people from 300 shout out, because I don't know if you know, Dash and 300 are like this. We're super tight. We yeah. had a free thug. We had Young Thug's album listening here. For uh, the album where it's like oh, a it's, it's like a lawn, his whole thing was about like smiling. Yeah. Uh, so much fun. We had that listening event here, so we're really close with 300. And I know most of the labels in the East Coast. So when they come out here, is everybody hitting you up? All the artists like, yo, bro, we need. 
I need a pound of the czar. Like, I need some homies to roll me here. Nah, yeah, when motherfuckers come out here for sure, okay. And that's regular, too. I'm the same way. I go out of town or any of that. You know, I hit yeah. motherfuckers that I know that want to do songs or any of that, you know? Try to get in touch so with them. So is everyone from the label hitting you when they come out here? A couple people. Yeah. A couple people. Yeah. Well, but not not people that's from down here already that's okay. on the label and gang reaching out. You know? Okay, okay. I do got to say, we, you know, if we bring up 300, we got to say Free Thug. Yeah, no, nah, um, for sure, Free Thug. Free Thug, rest in peace, Lil Key, too. Yeah, rest in peace, that Lil Key. That Key talked to him, too. Was yeah, crazy. I messed with Key. I'm that going. album was crazy, man. Um, So do you feel like there's any pressure on you and everybody else on the label since everything that happened last year? Yeah, for sure. Cause it's time to it's time to go hard. You get what I'm saying? They 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 was a they had a big impact on everything. You mm. get what I'm saying? And it was a big factor to this whole team, the whole family. So you know, it's a lot of proving to do. Absolutely, a yeah. whole lot of proving to do. I think that I think it's gonna be real tough for for just in general for hip hop to recover. Like Thug, yeah. Thug is such a great dude. Did exactly. You ever get a chance to meet him or work. With uh, yeah, them? yeah, I did a uh, show with him before. Oh, you did? Yeah, a minute ago, like a year, two years ago. I heard mm-hmm. he worked his ass off. Did you ever? Were you ever in any late night studio sessions? No, nah, I guarantee. Him? Oh no, nah, not with him. Nah, I heard that I fool wish, would not for sleep. Sure. He was just recording all night. I wish that that's something I love to do. I take yeah. out them too. I watch him a lot. You know. So. Yeah, love the way he moves. Well, we gotta talk about my my guy, my crazy row. Stars on the Roof is out now. Yes, sir. And I think it's super dope to hear your growth since uh, the earlier singles like Farik On, Switched Up. They sounded very West Coast. Yeah. Like, I could listen to those and be like, oh, he's from L.A. But the newer stuff, it's m- a lot more, like, ambiguous. Like, I can't listen to it and say, like, oh, that's for sure L.A. Did you do that by design? You wanted to sound a little different? Uh, yeah, no, nah, those was ex- my exact intention. I don't, like, I love West Coast, but I don't really, like, I'm not in love with the sound. You get what I'm saying? I kind of grew past that now, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I be listening to East Coast artists, all type of shit, and I like incorporating that with my sound, you know? So, yeah. And making that my sound. So, the West Coast shit with other stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, it's still like knowing you. I want you to be you. able to know still, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, knowing you, it's like, I know it's from the city, but yeah. when you first listen to these more recent songs it's like oh okay he's expanding the production yeah. it's not just that like g-funk the first few joints had that bounce on it yeah cause i got a way better understanding of the music now you know and the direction i'm trying to go with it mm. when i first was coming in i was doing shit i like to do but experiment wasn't a big deal like at the moment because i just had my mind set on one type of you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. like and i was trying to body that and once i perfected my craft at doing that it's time to go on to the next, you know? I love it, man. And I start peeping. A lot of people start, like, this just start getting consecutive, and I start not liking the music as much, so mm. I try to switch it up. I make music that I like and my fans like. You know? I love that, bro. I love that. Well, you you weren't holding back on Stars on the Roof video. Yeah, crazy. not at all. You went in on the video. It's the whole thing about it. Big, big uh, movie. It was yeah. literally like a little movie that, that you shot. I got to ask you about somebody who I, I don't think was a supporter of your music career earlier on, your mom's. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, mom's was not supporting that first, right? No, nah, not at all. How about now, now that yeah. she sees you see, sign, I mean, making she, big videos? It's just, it ain't like she ain't support me, but it's just like, she a mom, so like, you know what I'm saying? Mom going to be doing everything a kid's supposed to be doing, but I always had bigger dreams, so, mm. you know, now she understand, like, this the shit that's gonna pay my bills. You get what Absolutely. I'm saying? Get to it. So, so she can't get on your own sometimes. Now you know? she's supporting. Yeah, I imagine way more supportive. How often are, are do you do you like run any decisions by her? Yeah, sometimes when it comes to my money, for sure. Cause she work at a wow. bank, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she get to hold it down, but. She a mom still, Absolutely. so I only I trying imagine. to get you get on set. I imagine like, only to a certain extent. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'd like to do my own thing now. Okay. And your style is very unique. You yeah. don't really, like, one of the cooler things about you is you don't sound like anybody else. Appreciate Who it. Who are some artists that you would say influence your style? 
uh, Chris Brown, the um, I fuck with young boy coming up because his whole come up, his versatility, like he came up as a young nigga, you get what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. kind of gangstered out and then end up version off doing his own thing, you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So, you know, I, like I, I'm going to be real. I have my moment with people too. Like I literally like I fuck with my A Boogie. That's a good, yeah. A hey, Boogie for sure, he put me in my bag. Like, he had me in an era where I was yeah. understanding, like, I want to make this type of music, more melodic type of music. So, A hey, Boogie, PNB Rock, rest in peace. Rest in peace, yeah. But def- for sure, yeah, that's a couple I of I definitely my, see those, like, being your inspiration. I gravitate more towards that type of music, you know? Like, I heard Chris Brown is a big inspiration of yours. For sure. Which I think fits, because you're very melodic, but you're also... Street, yeah. Same thing with him. You know, he's extremely melodic and yeah. not as street. Yeah, and that's and why I fuck with him the long way though. Cause I just like he know how to do everything. And that's a big deal. I like to do everything. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but I'm gonna be real. I like a lot of old school too, though. Like, like who? you know, Kiki Watt. Like I like a lot of motherfucker. Like, I like dope old school music. I listen to R. Kelly. Uh, you know I'm, I'm an old head too. I fuck with like Avant. Stevie shit like, Wonder. Yeah, like yeah. I, I, I like soulful shit. You know? Yeah, well, your music is very soulful. Like uh, when you actually listen on a deeper level, all the songs like really are about your life and all this yeah. stuff that you've been through. That's what I think makes you, Wally the Sensei, Asia, Blast, Bino. What makes you guys so dope is you can write music as a singer. You're very m- melodic. But you guys have all been through some real shit in life. So like like when Wally the Sensei did 03 Flow, yeah. only someone from his lens, like someone who's been through that shit, could write that. And so same with you. When I listen to your music, it's all real, raw, and genuine. Yeah. Um, you've been dropping singles for about five years now? What are we building up to? Yes, yeah, sir. Right, uh, I'm about to get ready to drop a tape soon. They're going to be looking forward to an album TML? and a tape. Yeah, for sure. But... Right now, I'm dishing out all of these singles just to build my catalog up right now. You get what I'm saying? Because I know I do a lot of pausing. I'm done. Pausing. No more pausing. Okay. Consistent music from here on out. So, you and get what when, I'm saying? And when are you going to know? When's Ro going to know that it's project time? It's a feeling. It's this exact feeling that I remember feeling a, a, a little minute ago, okay, that I went back. You get what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I don't know, and they'll know. You'll know. Yeah, I'm okay. gone. You'll know. And it's an indescribable feeling. We'll say that. Okay, okay. And w- what made Ro want to make 300 his home, especially after all the controversy that they had gone through? I'm going to be real. I, I, I met with numerous labels. Like, and nobody made me feel like family the way they did. Mm. That's all it is. Like, I'm going to be real. I go off for energies for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I know when you walk into them labels, a lot of people like don't really care that much. You know what I'm saying? They just worried about what they could get out of the situation. So I'm already aware of that shit, you know? So, but they was different. You know, being up in that room, making me feel like this is where I should be. It's just a no brainer when, you know, you get that feeling. I know what you mean. Like I've never signed to a label, but I've met a bunch of people from labels and 300 yeah. really operates like a, Family. Yeah, exactly. Shout out for Ryan sure. McTaggart, Kevin Lyles, DJ yeah. Side Real. For sure, for sure. Over okay. there, they hold it down. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah, well, you guys have been through a lot, and I, I think it opens the door for, for you and everybody else who's yeah. still on there to, you know, come out of the dust, come out on fire. You know you got a great team yeah. around you. Uh, who, are some, who are some creatives, like some artists, like bucket list artists that – my crazy role wants to work with. No cap. Rilo. Them two are my favorite. I'm gonna be real. Both that little duo. I feel like we'll fuck some shit up. Uh Chris Brown, guaranteed. I just wanna do something with Cuz just to make history. Yeah. That 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 has to happen. We're yeah. gonna manifest. Exactly. Nah, it's gonna happen. I know it. I know. It's sure it. gonna happen. But uh yeah, that's pretty much it right now at the moment. 
I want to work with a lot of people with them yeah. on top. And I know in the past few months you 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 gave in like all of us had to and started working on you know doing TikTok yeah. and videos. How's yeah. that been? I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy. I've been struggling with that shit for the longest, but my first TikTok that the homie helped me with, it did the most views. Like I got like thirty five thousand on it. Like TikTok go. difficult though. You get it what I'm is. Saying? It's like a but, part time job. Yeah. It's still like uh, that was my first little video I did good. So I was just trying to post every good, day. But yeah. it's like you gotta you know the right times to post, the right hashtags. Uh, TikTok's like, like a whole ass job. Yeah. But then for sure. in your position, I'm sure you've seen some people you work with really blow up off that. Yeah, shit. guaranteed. That's what I'm trying to kinda, you know, press play on that a little more. Yeah. Now, I wanna say it was about a year ago, maybe six months ago, where definitely a year ago where LA was at like the height of its like crime. Remember, we just had a bad couple weeks. Yeah, we yeah. had Rolling Loud. People's houses were getting broken into. Do you still feel like people have to be careful when they move around LA? Or yeah, it, that's every down? day though. Like every day, yeah. yeah. Not even still, forever. Like that ain't nothing that's gonna stop life. So, what do you think an artist from out of town? that, you know, they, they got to get here to L.A.? You think it's better for them to just come to L.A., do some work, and get out? Or people should s- still be moving here? I mean, it's okay to come down here if you got a plan. Mm-hmm. I'll say that for the most part, because if you got a plan, it's like you can always mm-hmm. maneuver a certain way, you know what I'm saying? But without no plan, you'll be lost, and you'll be moving a lot more trying to figure it out, you know? So if you ain't got no plan, don't come. Because you, you don't know what would happen. You get what I'm saying? That's true, man. We got to be safe out here. L.A. too. L.A. County, let's keep it calm. You, you know, I feel mm-hmm. like we've been good for the past, like, three, six yeah, months. Yeah, for sure. We've been Haven't really, since PNB, rest in peace, knock on wood. Yeah, for sure. Seems to have been good. Um, so what are some things that My Crazy Row is excited about on the horizon? Uh, I am getting ready to drop another single, Stephanie's Blues. I just shot the video yesterday. Stephanie's Blues? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't trip. I'll be previewing it soon. Okay. But it's about to drop real, real, real soon. Okay. I'm trying to be on point with the dropping right now. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We did some crazy shit yesterday, too. We had a good video shoot. So. Jumping off cars and shit. <laughs> you do some wild shit, huh? Nah, it's just fly shit. Fly young nigga shit. You seem very involved in your videos, too. Like yeah, how no, you guarantee. You know how you want them I to like being a part of the whole process. It's my image. You get what I'm saying? It's how, I, how I'm going to look to the people. So I don't want to, you know, be too out of the loop when it comes down to that. I feel that. I yeah. respect that. You've definitely been very, like, I love when I listen to an artist and the person I'm listening to is exactly who I think it would be yeah. like you're not putting on a facade. Nah, hell all. no, I'm far from that. That's the thing though. That's why I like to do the music that like that's why I make the music I make because I'm I be trying to like, all like I'm far from the tough guy. You get what I'm saying? Like I know, like I'm not trying to be that or none of that. I'm just a soldier. Like I stand on my ten. That's why I like to, you know, publicize. I don't like doing none of that tough shit. I'm none of that. Yeah, no, your music is definitely just real and raw. Yeah, not yeah like it's a better song. feeling. I want you to be able to vibe and feel good to my Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. You know, like, I mean, all of the above, you could mm-hmm. do whatever, you know, but I want you to be in a good spirit, whatever it is you're doing. You get what I'm saying? I love I'm that. I want to do it. I love like, that. None of that mad ass shit. Like. So what's the release plan now? You dropping a new single every month? We go uh, every few weeks? It's going to be, yeah, every few weeks. Oh, wow. We'll be dropping, yeah. like, probably every three weeks. Guarantee Hell yeah. You. So, and you really dropping them for yeah. Stars on the Roof. You did it with the video. Yeah, for dropped it all. It's on all platforms. Stephanie's though. Blues, you're doing the same? Same thing. Wow. Yeah, from here on out, we about to keep hitting them, keep hitting them, keep hitting them. As hard as we can right now, we trying to get back. I love that, man. And L.A. has for been sure. on fire. It's definitely been our year. Yeah, I feel sure. like we had a renaissance back in the day when the game popped. Yeah. In like 2006 or something like that. Then we had it again with like Kendrick, Schoolboy, Nipsey. Yeah. And then I feel like now we're having another renaissance with mm-hmm. all of you guys from this generation. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do. I want to make history, do legendary stuff right now. Like that's about to change the whole, you know, narrative of how people be looking at West Coast artists. 
I love that, man. And I love that that you answered my first question exactly how somebody who's really from Long Beach would. Yeah. You're like, nah, Long Beach is not LA. Yeah, I don't know. You were like Long Beach to the core. You you're from the no- Yeah, I'm north born and raised. East side. Oh, east side. And okay, north side. Okay. I know so a lot of people don't know the north side of Long Beach borders yeah, nah, Compton. I grew, up, I grew up on the north side too though. Okay. So yeah, yeah you're really from it. Yeah. Really, really from it. Well, Long Beach is an absolute gem. Shout out to Pauly. Yeah, for we sure, show, for sure. We show love game. to Pauly. Yeah, is Pauly, yeah. like, definitely the better school over Wilson? Hell, yeah, it is. Why? Give me, I'm give not, me hey, one or two listen, I'm not, reasons. I'm not, I'm not, you know, because we better. It ain't, it ain't no reason except we better. <laughs> like, it's just that. Snoop, maybe the Snoop. This reason. our school and that's state school. Who Dang. was better at sports always, though? Us. Okay. Yeah. That's why we just shit like you. Get what I'm saying? That's yeah. why it's such a big rivalry. I got to I, I got to interview an shit. artist from Wilson. Every artist I've interviewed from Long Beach yeah. ends up being from Polly. <laughs> For Polly's real? That shit, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Polly's that shit. All right, yeah, well, he, he look at Cut over here though. He in the cut. Like hey, peroxide. If somebody, if somebody <laughs> just discovered my crazy row, they if somebody just discovered you right now, what's the first song you want them to listen to? Just the stars on the roof, hands down. I need y'all to go tune the fuck in. That should have put you in a vibe on game. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So. Definitely, definitely is a vibe. That's my top pick. Okay. Go listen to everything though. I I tell you go listen to everything to be real, but stars on the roof for sure. And do you get it a lot where people when people find out you're from the West Coast, they're a little bit shocked. Yeah, I ain't gonna cap. Right, because you don't Just really sound it, like it. Just because it'd be like. It's down to the way I dress and everything, though. Know, people be like, I ain't know you just from the West Coast. Like, and people always telling me I got like a little accent, all type of shit. Like, yeah, I would have, I would have assumed you're from the city, like New York. Yeah, but I'm born and raised in Long Beach. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I ain't never, I barely even was, I've never been to Atlanta or none of that shit until now. You get what I'm saying? So, like, girl, all that's just happened. I just start being able to go around the world right now. Like, yeah. I never went nowhere. Yeah, I don't know why I would have assumed you're from either Atlanta or New York. Yeah, nah, we've been stuck on the block for how long, y'all? Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, we just start being able to, you know, mm-hmm. see the fruits Move of this around. shit. And that's because we older. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. could do a lot more by ourselves. Like, yeah. but. Well, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to Long Beach. Yeah, appreciate uh, you. For always sure. good to have a artist from the city. Nah, you uh, family though, I'm gang. Hey, thank you, man. I'm in. Yeah, I'm you in. just just being down there on the set. Yeah, you bro. Familiar with us. Listen, I stayed down there for four years. Yeah. I was, you know, yeah, you the can't beat that. North side. Mm-hmm. I was like four blocks from Compton. I think it becomes Compton on like 60th or 61st. Yeah, you would have been straight if it, I'm one phone call away. <laughs> yeah, I was always good. Knock, yeah. knock on wood. Um, but okay, <laughs> Stars on the Roof is out now. Yeah. Stephanie's Blues on the way. And then we'll let the fans and the world decide when it's project time, right? Nah, for sure, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Shout and let out them be the judge of that. Yeah, shout out to 300. I'll keep good streaming. People. Anybody you want to shout out before we hop off? Uh, yeah, shout out my team, TML. I'm going shout out 300. Yeah, and go tune in, Stars on the Roof, out now. I need y'all to go get it on everything, Apple Music, Spotify, all of the buzz. And you already know, you're going to hear it on Dash. You know, we got to end this with a free young thug. Man, free, free young thug. Free okay. Jeffrey. Alrighty, my guy, my Free Jack. crazy bro. All right, dog. Thank you so much. Appreciate you for having me. I'll meet you in the house. We out. For sure. Boom.